Greetings fellow girls, guys and gaming fans, this is Small Archangel, thank you for joining me for another episode of Conan Exiles. I just thought I'd treat you to a close-up of our character, we hardly ever see her face, particularly since we uh, have to wear a, a, a helmet all the time, but uh, you know. I like to see my character's face occasionally, especially given that we spent, you know, I spent a little while creating her, so uh, vanity mode is quite good for that. We have a full set of purple armor, which is pretty wicked, and I also, at the end of the last episode, we killed, well no, actually we did not kill the elephant, we were a total, total cheat, and we actually uh, waited until it was mostly dead already, and then... Yeah, finished it off, didn't we? But we got ourselves some exotic meat, which is lovely. Um, what we're going to do in this episode, you're going to hear my <laughs> my blacksmith banging away in there, doing really well. Um, we're still waiting for our dancer to cook. Uh, she's taking a little while, but I don't I think she's nearly done. Um, but our base is in definite need of finishing off that bit of wall stucky up there. I still can't actually reach it. We might possibly make this part of our base two floors, two floors, two stories, or floors, two floors. I haven't decided yet, but we are going to have a similar building on the opposite side of the courtyard. So I'm just going to make a one story to start with. Uh, but we are going to do some base building today. Partly because we have in fact got uh, an update as hit, um, about last week actually, but after I'd recorded, annoyingly enough, um, which adds all sorts of goodies uh, to our lists, uh, the things that we can uh, craft, learn to craft. And again, it's reset all of our things. I've, I've actually relearned some of them off camera just because it gives us access to the basic stuff, but there's all sorts of new goodies in here, like for example, these trophies, head, head, have a hyena head trophy, definitely going to have one of those the mangy curs. Uh, we've got a big campfire, which is very timely because I want one of those in my kitchen as well. Thank you. That would be lovely. That would look fantastic. And various other things. Look at these. Look at these, these cushions. Awesome. We can have throw cushions. We can have a really civilized place around here. And ceramics, look. Look at these pot, this pottery and stuff. That's excellent. So we've got a little bit, and there's a few more beds to look at that, including a double bed. How awesome is that? So we can really build ourselves a nice, comfy little place here it might not be a palace but it will certainly be comfy and we've got some barrels as well that we can put stuff in i'm assuming we could put stuff in those so we've got a fair few recipes to learn there but before we do that we need to actually build the place now stonemason we need to learn first uh, and we're going to need to learn the walls now we've already placed the floor and it's as big as it needs to be for the moment so we need to learn walls doorways uh, now, is there such a thing as a window, for Pete's sake? Surely there is. Uh, walls probably has it, yeah? There we go. And that's a slightly won less wonky-looking uh, window as well. We may need pillars, but let's leave that until we're sure. Gateway we're going to need for our courtyard as well. But again, that can wait for the time being. Wedges. Mm, at the moment, we haven't really got any sort of, yeah, odd-shaped... It'd be kind of cool to do that, I suppose. It might make it look quite cool, but it's not really the plan at the moment. And some stairs. I'd quite like to try and play some stairs, but I'm not sure if that's going to work. Wooden sloped roofs. They might look wicked as well, but at the moment we're going to put flat roofs on because we want to be able to, you know, keep it option, uh, keep our options open and have the option to uh, put, place a second floor if we want. We're going to need some more storage around here. As I say, we're going to place a big old fireplace, cooking place, fireplace here-ish, I think. Uh, and uh, and then we're going to have some steps going down here so we can access our backyard. But for now, we're going to need to make ourselves some walls. And they require five stone brick, two shaped wood, and four iron reinforcement. Now, our blacksmith is hard at work making us some iron reinforcement. Do you know what? I have to just zoom that in a little bit, actually. She's made 33. Nice. But we've got a load of them in here, as you can see. So uh, we're just going to do as much as we can for the moment. Our forge is also, the smelter is making us some uh, stone bricks uh, too. So that's good. Hopefully we'll have enough of this stuff. And I might just get our carpentry bench for crafting some more of those. Yes, this. There we go. And then we've got plenty of those on the go as well. Here we go. There's some more of these coming through too. So we've actually probably got so many we can't even move now. Right, so let's just think about this. If I go out here, I can actually see how many of these we need. Obviously, we're going to need a door to our courtyard here. 
Uh, we could put that pretty much in the middle. Not quite. One, two, three, four, five, we're six, aren't we? So we probably want it to be here, perhaps. So let's start with that. We're going to need two doorways, in point of fact. We're going to need two. We're going to make two. There we go. Yay. Uh, let's just place the first one out of face. Yeah, that's correct. One, two, three. That's the wrong button. Try that. There we go. Lovely. And we're going to want one over here as well. And bam. There we are. That's lovely. Okay. Uh, oh, by the way, before I forget, just a bit of a shout out. Let's talk gaming. Pointed out that we have already learned an emote. This one. Okay. I think perhaps we need to be in vanity mode to get the full gist of that. That's a bit of a sassy come on, isn't it? What about that one? And we learned that from uh, reading one of the, the manuscripts that we found around the place. So that's how we're going to find quite a lot of our emotes, I think. And I don't know what the rest of this is. Shake fist. Okay, so we've got a few here we can use already. Conversation. Point. Oh, we've got... Yeah, we've got a few by default then. What? Relax. Lie down. Sit down. Oh, awesome. I did not know about these. Mind you, these are fairly... Hello. These are fairly new, but they're, they're, there's only partial controller support, really, so you have to hit R to be able to uh, to, to be able to access those. So, uh, Okay, so I think we'll have solid walls behind these chests here. We're going to need um, some windows, of course. I think we'll have a window next to here. So if we place our windows first, perhaps, we're going to have a window here next to this door. We're going to have a window here, and we're going to have a window on the other side. So that's three, and then we're going to have two here. So that's five, right? Let's see if we can make five of those. One, two, three, four, five. Fabulous. Let's place one there. Oh, look, we get some wood panelling on the inside. Well, sort of wood panelling. There we go. One there. And when we place these, we'll decide whether we're going to need some more windows or no. Four. Five. I'd quite like to have a window facing on the courtyard as well, actually. That would sort of make sense, wouldn't it? So let's make another one of those. Uh, perhaps put it there. We could have a window either side of the door, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know, really. What, what's for best there? We could, yeah. I think we'd quite like to have another window there, actually. Let's just do that. And then we're going to need to make, probably, as many of walls as we possibly can. But uh, before we do that, I don't know. Oh no! You are kidding me. That is so annoying. That is really not fair, is it? That placed it the wrong way around. Who would have thought it? Okay, so that was a waste of human resources, wasn't it? I hate it when it does that. That is kind of familiar to me. That is straight out of arc. That is out of face. Okay, so why are you planning on putting that the wrong way around for me? You are, aren't you? You are putting that the wrong way. Okay, how do we revolve that? How do I turn that round? There we go. That works. Again, I had to use my mouse to do that in point of fact. And then we're definitely going to want just blank walls in the corners there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, logically it would be eight, but there's, there's one already over there, of course. So we'll have seven of those. And then we'll take it from there. There we are, and this place is pretty much done now. Um, I think I probably could have put that absolutely centrally, couldn't I? But I'm not bothered. I actually quite like it slightly offset. That's cool. Okay, now, as we did with the workshop, we're going to want these walls to be double height because I don't trust this game not to sort of mess things up for me and, and refuse to place furniture. In any case, I like my ceilings to be a little bit 
further above my head. Um, it kind of looks a little bit grander. Otherwise, this would be virtually touching the ceiling, wouldn't it? And a lot of the furniture is, you know, sort of large-ish. So we're going to want uh, another layer of walls all the way around here. How are we doing for stuff here? We're running kind of running out of uh, iron reinforcements a bit. Uh, but at least we have the space mapped out now. Do we have any more iron reinforcements in here? Yes, we do. Sorted. So we can make plenty more. And our blacksmith is still on the case. Let me just have a little look at our forge. I think that's pretty much... Yep, it's burned through stuff like absolute fury there. So we'll turn that off. Um... And, uh, yeah, that is really nice, actually. The stonework there looks great, doesn't it? So let's see how many more of these we can make. If we can sort of vaguely finish this off, we're going to need one, two, three, because I'm going to put windows in the upper story as well. Um, it's not really an upper story. It's going to be, you know, sort of just the top part of these walls. But if we have windows above as well, then that's going to let in a little bit more light. So we need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need eight windows, so... Let's do that. Nice. I like the inner panelling on this. That looks fantastic. And the flooring looks better as well. So this is much more um, cultured. I don't know. It just looks nicer, doesn't it, for our house area. So we're going to need some ceiling now as well. Have we learned how to make those? Yes, we have. And how many of those are we going to need? Oh, good Lord. Tons. One, two, three, four by one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need loads of that. How many can we actually make? We can make seven. Well, whoopee do. So <laughs> we're gonna need more. Uh, which what? Oh, we've run out of. I think we'll probably have run out of the iron reinforcements rather than the stone bricks by the time we've done those. Is that right? Is there something else we need for those that we don't know about? Oh no, shaped wood. My goodness, well we could, that's okay, we could get some more of that. Looks like we might actually be able to finish this job off today, folks, which would be fantastic. That's not the right button, this is. Lovely, there we go. Now how many can, can we make? 14, wow. Okay, well we're probably going to need all of those, to be honest. Because we're going to need about, what do we say? Six by four. We're gonna need quite a lot of these, so let's place that in the right place, please. Now, if we were gonna place stairs, where would we logically put them? Our cooking stove is gonna go here at this end, our cooking fire, that is. Stairs. I don't actually have a clue. So, and anyway, I'm, oh, that's gone the wrong way around. Oh, do we care? Not over much, to be honest. Not really, really. So, let's just bung this in for the moment. Okay. If it gets to it and we decide to put stairs in, we're just going to have to place the stairs, you know, kind of. We're just going to have to take out a bit of ceiling in order to do that. And that's fine by me. We'll try and get most of these going around the same direction. And it looks like we've been run out now. Uh, and it is definitely iron reinforcements we need more of now, isn't it? Let's see if the blacksmith can provide us with a few more. Because we only need a few more of those. 73. There we go. And how many more of these do we actually need? One, two, three. Ooh, do we only need three? Wowza, we should be able to make three of those, shouldn't we? One, two, three. Okay. And that way. Oh, it's just randomly placed it wrong way around again. There we go. Okay, well, well, we've got the. We're going to keep the rain out now, anyway, so that's good. Uh, we could do with a door. Have we learned how to make a door? Yeah, reinforced wooden door. Well, we need 14 of those and 7 of that. And we haven't got any of the shaped wood. So we're going to need two doors, actually, aren't we? Do we need reinforcements for those? I can't remember. Yeah, we do. We've probably got those, though. Enough of those. Two wood! Oh, my goodness me. Okay, we're going to need some more wood. I'm going to need to go cut down some more trees, I think. But let's do this. We're going to need wood as well for furnishing this joint. So there we go. Let's make as many of those as we can. But I think door's probably a priority for the moment. Uh, but while that's doing, yeah, I am going to go and cut down some trees. Um... 
so I will see you guys in a little while because uh, you've seen me cut down trees before. And I'm back and we're gonna fill our carpentry bench back up again there. I got myself a little bit of hide as well because obviously I got attacked by a hyena while I was out there. That's obviously gonna happen. In fact, that should probably go there, shouldn't it? That would make sense. Uh, this exotic meat does seem to last rather better, actually, than, um, yeah, does seem to last rather better than we had, uh, than, than the meat we had before, just the normal savoury steak or whatever it's called. So I'm quite impressed by that. Now, somewhere in here, I think, yes, we have some torches. We could perhaps do with making another one. Just, that's just my OCD talking and saying, hey, it's, uh, <laughs> we haven't got enough of them to, we need one outside the door, don't we actually? So let's place one outside the door on this side. Now, what height have we got the others at? Yeah, yeah, let's be neat about it. Let's try and get it at the same height. There we go. And then we need to place some in here as well. Uh, and yeah, we probably are going to need to place more of them than we have. We'll put one there and one there. Even though you can turn these off, I tend not to ever really bother because... Uh, it's just such a pain having to go around and turn all your torches off all the time. So, uh, I will put one there and one on this side as well. And then we have it nice and symmetrical. And this wall can't be so symmetrical, but what the heck. We'll put one there and one on the other side. And then we've kind of run out and we're going to need to make some more. So, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to need to put some on this wall here as well. Uh, but yeah, we, we can do that. That's not a problem. I'm going to put a camp, uh, a campfire? No, a big fireplace there. And we're going to need to put some food storage there as well. Because at the moment, I've got a load of roasted haunch here, which used to be called exotic meat, but is now called roasted haunch. Or it's exotic meat until you cook it, then it's called roasted haunch. That's more likely, isn't it? So let's just have a look in here. Uh, now, there's a lot of recipes we haven't learned yet. But we're going to be gradually furnishing this joint. Uh, the, the only two things that I really want to put in in this episode. Well, not sandstone stairs. We learned the other kind of stairs already. And we're going to put some of those in. We need to put the doors in as well. But I want to learn. Where's the fireplace gone? I know it's in here somewhere. There's a large fireplace. There is improved campfire. We're going to learn that. And uh, the other thing. Is in the beer keg here. So we've got an ale keg. But it also teaches us how to make large and small barrels as well. And I think that's going to be appropriate for food storage. So there we go. Let's see if we can make these doors now. Uh, we can only make one door. Which is a bit of a downer. Because uh, then we're out of shaped wood. So we're going to have to get some more shaped wood. Let's just see what it looks like. Oh, very, very dark. Okay. Well, there are actually candles as well. So we can actually place some uh, some candle sconces and things in there as well. Which we may well do. And maybe they'll kick out a little bit more light. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, look. This is how we make our barrels. Well, I don't know how small is a small barrel. And how big is a big barrel. I'm not sure. But we need at the moment... We need a little bit more shaped wood. For the moment, I'm just going to craft a couple more pieces. Uh, and that's all we're going to need to make another door. I'm going to place that door there. And then our large fireplace all, only needs branches, which we've got, and stone, which we have an abundance of because I always make sure we're kept in stone. And there it is. We'll make one of those. And then, yeah, we can make a beer, beer keg in there, but I'm not quite sure where we'll put that yet. Oh, my goodness, we still need our torch, don't we? So I'm not quite sure where we're going to put that yet. So our fighters are going to be really confused now because they're kind of walled in on this side as well, so they're really not going to know where to wield their clubs anymore, which is quite amusing. Okay, doors first. 
Now, is that the right way around? Does it make any odds which way round? No, not really, but I, I don't know. Prefer the handle on that side. Nice. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll have the handle on that side. Nice. That's our door. So now we're nice and secure in here, so that's lovely. Let's see if we can place our large campfire against this wall over here. Oh, my wordy. Ah! Oh, that is not what I meant. That is so not what I meant. Do you know what? It wasn't that expensive to make. That is not a big deal. Oh, my God. That's so annoying. I did not mean to press that. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, so. Let, let's see. Turn this around. Is that the right way around? I think that's the right way around, but it's kind of difficult to tell. It looks like it's supposed to be a central hearth rather than one that's up against a wall. But it is going up against the wall just because it's too flaming big otherwise, I think. We probably want it sort of there-ish. I reckon so. That's about central, isn't it? Uh, pretty much straight, so there we go. And options. Let's just see what the options are for this. Interact. There we go. So basically we're going to need some coal in there, aren't we? And such... Uh, and now, let's see, uh, open door, okay, I might be able to put that away now, it's still going to be slightly dark, and then just before we finish this episode, I do want to make some barrels as well, so I'm going to make, uh, we're going to make some of these first, no, we don't want to make 58 of them, for that we're going to need four, and for that we're going to need three, okay, so if I make ten shaped wood, then we should probably have enough to make ourselves a large barrel and a small barrel. Uh, and then we can see sort of what sizes those are. Okay, so we have a couple of barrels now. So let's get these placed. Probably in the vicinity of our campfire. Because it's going to be a good place to keep our food storage, of course. Ah, now that's the large barrel. Which isn't absolutely silly huge. So that's good. So we'll place that there. And then we've got a small barrel. Which I might just place right next to it. Oh, look at that. It's quite small, actually. There we go. Uh, and then we can keep our food stuff in that. So whether it's raw meat or cooked meat, we can plonk it in there. Uh, so let's just see. How do I access that? Okay. Can I access that? Interact. Oh, I can't interact. Is it just decorative then? Is it supposed to have... Okay, I thought that that was supposed to be... I thought that was supposed to be a container. Maybe it's not... Maybe they aren't. Maybe they are just decorative, in which case that's a little bit of a waste. And I actually wanted somewhere to keep my food, so I'm not sure. Why could we even interact with them if there is... Maybe that's a bug, or maybe it just hasn't been implemented yet. I don't know. But there we go. So we do need something to keep our food stuff in, and we do need it sort of next to our fire, but maybe we have to put it on the other side there. I would have thought a beer keg... Well, I'd like a beer keg in here as well, but as I say, this is only part of it. We're going to have a kind of a dining area here with a table and stuff. Um, and we're going to have another uh, another um, block, as I say, on the other side, which maybe this is just going to be our kitchens here. Maybe the one on the other side is going to have uh, sort of more of a living area, and that's where our bedroom's going to be as well. And uh, as I say, not quite decided yet whether we're going to have two floors, like a second story on here. It'd be kind of nice if we did, to be honest, but uh, new stuff's being added to the game all the time. Um, and uh, yeah, the only thing really that I need to do now, I've got a little bit of a sort of a patio area type thing here. We want to put some steps on there. That isn't what I meant. We want to put some steps on there and we're going to want to try and put some steps here as well. I don't know if that's going to work with the foundation being not that high off the ground, but I'm certainly going to try it. Um, but we're going to leave this episode here for now. Uh, and in the next episode, we will either be furnishing our abode a little bit more here, or more likely will be, if we've got our dancer uh, up and running, maybe, or up and dancing, uh, maybe we'll uh, we'll take her and go to the uh, the, the unnamed city, because it would be quite cool to be able to, to go and do a bit of exploration there. Now we've got our heavy armour and all of the rest of it. So, uh, so, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you join me for the next. If you have enjoyed this, uh, let me know by hitting that like button and uh, feel free as ever to give me uh, hints, tips and comments and uh, I'm just going to chill out here a little bit now I know 
how to do that. That's not a very ladylike way of sitting, but it is quite authentic, I think. <laughs> It's quite shield out, so we're cool with that. <laughs> and I do hope you enjoy. And until the next episode, I hope you guys keep gaming, stay happy, and bye-bye for now.